Hi, my name is Murali. I am the lead clinical technologist as well as the site lead for clinical engineering at New Hub. Um, this is clinical engineering department. Uh, New Hub Hospital is a part of a wider clinical engineering department of the trust, which is led by a senior management team, which is comprised of a um, head of the department and uh, deputy head of uh, clinical engineering and a governance lead as well as a medical device um, lead trainer. Um, again, clinical engineering department is uh, coming under a wider division called uh, uh, clinical physics, which is under a um, still wider uh, unit called clinical support services. The core area of our activity is uh, maintenance and uh, repair of medical equipment here. Yeah. Uh, we are looking after around 5,000 uh, pieces of equipment uh, um, all, all over the hospital here at Newham, uh, out of which um, we are providing full in-house support to around 3,400 pieces of equipment uh, at the moment. The department uh, comprises of four staff members, including myself. Uh, we have all uh, qualified, trained, and experienced staff members to carry out this job in a safe and um, uh, in a time-bound manner. The purpose and whole aim of uh, this department is to ensure that um, all uh, clinical um, departments in the hospital are having adequate number of equipment available for their clinical practice uh, on a regular basis. We are uh, making our best efforts towards this commitment by delivering this service, um, by uh, fixing the uh, broken equipment in a minimum possible time, as well as servicing the uh, equipment in line with the manufacturer's guidelines um, and making sure that they all are in service states. In my role as a lead uh, clinical technologist, um, I am um, leading and supporting all kinds of um, uh, maintenance activities related to medical equipment here. Uh, I'm sure my colleagues will be able to uh, share their experience uh, happily. Hello, my name is Ajit. I am one of the senior clinical technologists in this hospital. Um, I have been in this role for more than three years now. Uh, as part of this role, I perform regular preventative maintenance on a lot of medical devices of varying complexity such as these patient monitors. Um, I've also performed uh, PPMO repairs on um, increased complicated devices such as ventilators, um, incubators, defibrillators, to name a few. Resting in respiratory pressure or the uh, that actually shows what's the pressure, of the current pressure in this whole pneumatic system. Part of my role, I also supervise my junior colleagues and assist them should they need help. Apart from providing such technical services. I am also involved in projects regarding medical equipment. I advise project managers on equipment that need to be bought for specific clinical purposes. I have also carried out medical device evaluations and helped clinical users to make the right decision while purchasing medical equipment of high value. My passion for electronics has helped me to carry out a lot of repairs on complex medical equipment which would have cost a lot to replace otherwise. I believe that clinical engineers act as a linking bridge between clinical and technical professionals. I have had a lot of instances where I would meet with doctors and nurses to understand their clinical requirements and then advise them accordingly. I believe that as a clinical engineer I have contributed a lot to improve the quality of human life and as such I feel very proud to be a clinical engineer. Hi, my name is Prathison. I'm one of the clinical technologists here at Newham University Hospital. I joined this department in 2017. As a clinical technologist, I mainly concentrate on preventive and maintenance jobs, but it's not limited to that. I also work in trialing and equipment, accepting them and decommissioning it. Uh, one of the highlights of this role is we get to attend training sessions provided by manufacturers where we learn about a new equipment and how to service them and repair them. Uh, we also learn how to dismantle the equipment and completely reassemble them back. In addition to working independently, I also assist other senior clinical technologists with their uh, corrective maintenance and preventive maintenance. 
So that helped me to gain first-hand experience in these devices even before I'm officially trained by the manufacturers. For example, this Calio incubator, I learned how to do preventive maintenance on it before I'm officially trained by the manufacturer. I'm also the quality rep for our department. As such, I make sure we are compliant with the quality standard ISO 9001-2015. This ensures we are working in a safe and secure environment. As a quality rep, I also attend monthly meetings for quality representatives where we discuss any quality-related issues raised and we discuss ways to resolve them. I'm also responsible for closing any non-conformances raised against us as well as documenting any opportunities for improvement. I also get to perform internal audit in other departments within clinical physics. In conclusion, I would like to say not only, not only we use our knowledge and experience on a daily basis, we are constantly learning new skills. I can say by, for working for this department, I have gained a lot of valuable transferable skills such as communication, problem solving and troubleshooting skills. Hello, my name is Munaj Islam and I've been a healthcare science apprentice for the last two years. The transition from an apprentice to a assistant clinical technologist has really helped my personal development as it has made me more independent. Due to this, I've been able to carry out a wider range of services and repairs. Uh, my favourite aspect of this is conversing with uh, colleagues on the most effective way of carrying out uh, services and repairs. Hello everybody. Hello, my name is Arsene Kaya. I work in Silverton Ward. Uh, I'm a carpenter and I've uh, got the patient to uh, and um, IV fluid. And I like as well as servicing and repairs, I, I have to maintain an equipment library which puts me in regular contact with hospital staff on a daily basis. This is a fun and exciting change of pace and I have been enjoying every moment of it. When entering wards, it's essential to take proper infection control measures. Uh, this includes basic things like rolling up sleeves, removing jewellery, and washing hands with soap or antibacterial gel. It's essential that we do these things so that uh, patient safety is maintained and uh, there is a minimal chance of spreading infection. Okay, thank you very much. I will take this. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. See you later. See you later. During my time at Newham University Hospital, I have learnt so much about clinical engineering and I look forward to seeing the new things that I can learn in the future.